This is your uh, weekly uh, podcast on how to boost uh, positivity. Uh, please do always check Finds TV Hobby Homeschool for more uh, motivations, inspirations, finds, etc. Guys, uh, this uh, podcast has a glimpse on my YouTube shorts also. Worth it to know uh, about it. Please add to this, guys. I'm open to um, like uh, additional information on this so we can, you know, to all together help each other. Thanks. I believe how to boost energy or positivity. I believe that one thing personally... I acknowledge the feeling I do not have an energy today and then I think of ways to boost or help myself like movement, uh, being grateful, uh, uh, maybe pausing or you just need a rest or I just stop with whatever I'm doing but uh, pausing has always has to have a deadline. Um, just staying in one place and you know dwelling on things is not gonna help uh, just start doing something just maybe starting to do some movement so what needs done so these are the initial things i do to boost positivity there is no uh, perfect uh, way or depending on your lifestyle your food preference I would not want to suggest anything for you, but it really depends on what you think is healthy or good for your body, mind, and soul. Uh, personally, if I'd be asked, uh, in my uh, perspective, guys, um, I just eat as simple as whatever is available at home because I don't want to sugarcoat like uh, I need to buy like um, this um, gluten-free in the mall or if i can't afford it so i cannot suggest but just as eating simple food like what you have maybe if there is anything like leafy vegetables or if you have a lean meat or a little bit with flavor i think it's boring for you if um you are not uh, you, you are not of the same like i do like what i practice like more on eating whatever is available and more on plant-based but yes, uh, I think maybe uh, it really um, contributes if you e we eat less of all those um, with artificial flavors. Con on the contrary, sometimes I admit if I don't feel good, I usually binge on um, you know accessible food like junk food. Uh, take home or carry out food like you know those uh, really good food but, but you know what I mean guys but sometimes it really depends on uh, what is your go-to food maybe this will make you feel good it is fine but overindulgence maybe that would be another topic right but again if you're not feeling good just take a rest maybe eat good food whatever you think is good for your body mind and soul this um, podcast oh, um, almost discusses um, the most commonly um, tips by doctors to patients who are having uh, this um, serious uh, things about uh, you know energy uh, positivity so um I'd like to add more of what I've learned about this that is it it is true do you believe that thoughts and behaviors come together so whatever you are um thinking of like uh people you uh come people you hang out with people you are with and the events you are in or the environment uh, around you or where you are really um, helps or contributes to how you feel, right? But uh, yes, I'm grateful uh, that I have I have my family still around me. But yes, uh, it's a um, uh, it's a true thing that thoughts and behaviors come together, right, guys? So whatever you put in your mind, that transcends. So right. So again not a guru guys but i just wanted to share like you know contribute on how i'm able to cope with this feeling
I, yeah, we are all humans. We do feel this, right? So, uh, again, uh, maybe lessening of our self-sabotaging, right? Uh, feeling uh, guilty all the time, like uh, we should uh, try to stop those um, harsh um, uh, feelings for ourselves because who else will do it for you, right? So it's just us. So, yeah. So maybe that's why I, I always, um, I believe in that, uh, uh, I believe in that practice, like developing a routine. That's why I always have those YouTube shorts, guys. 60 seconds of just starting, practicing, to get up from bed, do something, contribute something, be productive. Because guys, if you always, if you are always into like, you know, staying in bed all day, that's not gonna help. So, yeah. So guys, been there, done that. So, uh, I am trying to do this podcast, this type of podcast, like motivational, not, not, uh, not because I am a guru, not because I know everything. No, it's because um, I've been through it. So, yeah. I'm just uh, taking the chance that maybe just a soul, even two, even three, four, all the more I'm lucky if there's a hundred, a thousand people who have uh, learned about or heard about or have been listening to my podcasts, then I'm thankful, I'm grateful. Or you can pass it on if you like, guys. So Another, another thing, guys, that I think, well, this is true, one, one of the things I've read, that um, we do feel... Or and we do feel un unboosted with positivity because we have put so much weight on um, expectations. Am I right, guys? Or please comment below if I'm not. Um, maybe we have placed so much um, lists, guidelines, standards on ourselves that eventually frustrates us in the end, right? So maybe it's good to plan like yeah it's really good to plan but have it in a realistic achievable uh, manner have have these plans but it should be realistic so just like me uh, I have been uh, sharing on my shorts about um, uh, uh, watch me set up my dream business at home which is the uh, milk fish business and uh, it came to a point that um, should I take it slowly because there are factors that, that is going to be a barrier to pursue the business so those things right, guys um, like really putting yourself into something that is maybe too much for you so uh, too much for us like you know having you know unbelievable unachievable goals that you think it's impossible in a six, in six months time or in a year or in three days I will lose weight in three days it's not gonna happen because it's not true right so you're gonna have to work for it so yeah so merely just you know making things simple like planning achievable realistic uh, goals yeah, so I that that uh, adds weight to to frustrations and uh, eventually becomes uh, an unboosted, uh, you know, not a good day, unboosted um, feeling or emotion that contributes to more than like what, not doing anything anymore because you are not motivated, you are uninspired, right? So, yep, guys. And then, um, let's boosted positivity or let's just say totally unmotivated, uninspired is a taboo, guys. So, this, uh, is all, this has always been a very fragile topic, right? But, um, this podcast is not a total or a summary of, uh, the universe's dilemma on unboosted positivity but maybe uh, having some guidelines like a little like a list of thoughts your worries problems maybe you can think about it for a while what uh, triggers these problems like uh, 
did you change uh, your routine lately because of this? Um, uh, how are you doing things ever since you had these worries in life? So, well, the only solution, guys, there's n no other way but really to get out of it. So, there's n no way, nobody can really uh, save us, save you from this feeling but yourself. It's just a matter of when you decide on, you know, just to get out of it. Of course, uh, other people will support you, will support me, but um, it's only us. It's only you who can help yourself. So, and you don't even have to pin it, you know, pin it down like tell your family, tell your friends, this is what I'm going through. Uh, you don't because other people have their lives. They, on they also have their problems, have their own worries to think about. So, let's not, uh, you know... Uh, try try to you know uh, well express yourself to your trusted loved ones and because this is actually this is also a, a kind of you don't say it to, you just don't randomly share this to anybody because uh, some people would take advantage but luckily if you have your friends your most trusted friends your loved ones then you can do so please express yourself to them because um, it will really lighten things up or write it down or maybe do your hobby that's why Fine CV Hobby Homeschool also was created because I've had so much time and I been do you know my hands have to be busy my mind has to be busy and I found passion in uh, you know doing things at home so if you are also looking for a hobby maybe you can watch my vlogs my uh, shorts my live streams but if you don't maybe just you know cultivate what's inside you like what you love to do in your spare time what is that thing that you do that time flies that you didn't really even notice oh my gosh i enjoyed doing this thing i would like to do this all the time do, guys hobbies fuels us so you have to find time in doing some things that are not really just uh, because it's an 8 to 5 task or you are being paid but do something that really makes you happy because this prolongs our lives um, it does it does really believe it or not drawing whatever you like singing dancing chatting doing podcast vlogging uh, just do it um, do not be afraid to share uh, what you know, what you can contribute to the world because you don't know how much a soul or even just a soul you can touch or save even, save a life, right? So, yep. Guys, so I want you to please um, uh, send me your thoughts like, you know, let's um, all, you know, uh, do this together. If you want, comment below. If you want to add more to this so we can do a part two but an another thing guys avoid well to boost positivity of course if we can let's try or lesson to do not to not drinking you know to do not drink especially well it depends really if you're in a party or in an on occasion it's all it's nice to have a sip you know a, 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 an amount of something in a glass but um getting you know getting wasted and <laughs> Not during the younger days, right? But, you know, we have to over... You, we have to... How do you call this term? We have to outgrow that, right? So, if you are a very young uh, one who is into this, um, maybe lessening it or slowly not doing it anymore because it's not good for you, right? So, you know that even if you don't have to listen on this podcast, I'm not your mother or <laughs> your aunt or something. I'm not a guru, but it's a... I think it's one of the uh golden rules right so again guys and again this one i did i was i i did smoke when i was younger but if you can ask uh, i i quit already guys i'm already you know i mean i'm of age to really stop doing it <laughs> it's not it's not well guys i don't want to general generalize things but anyway yeah uh try to lessen it or if you can uh maybe avoid doing it right so because it will not contribute it's bad for us 
And then, uh, what else? So, maybe um, avoid hiding away or isolation. Um, I had that. I had those days. I still have that, but I try not to. That's why I oh, I share in my shorts, guys, wherever I am. I'm in 7-Eleven. I, uh, I have not. I needed exposure uh, to more uh, people from all walks of life. So, I thought of, you know, maybe in a convenience store. It's a, you know, an, a, a world full of different people from different walks of life. So, maybe you too, if you, if you are, if you have a, a big social life, then uh, good for you. Um, how to be you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, try to find ways not to hide, you know, uh, be isolated. Uh, find ways, uh, find your loved ones. Uh, I, me, I have a... Um, you know, phobia in a lot of things. Uh, one of them is people phobia. So, uh, I've had that for years, but I'm trying to, you know, slowly, you know. So, get out from that uh, shell. Uh, so, again, guys, uh, this has been a very, quite long podcast. And I hope you've listened also. If you can, if you are in a rush, you can also visit uh, my shorts on some motivations and inspirations about this. Uh, so again, guys, uh, if you are into not having a you know an inspired life now, uh, go for it. Um, do something that you like. Find a way. Always find a way. And you always go back to this podcast if you like, even if you're just in the train or in the bus or driving. You don't even have to watch the side videos of this podcast just listen to it you you can listen to this while you're working out because uh, this is a raw uh, podcast a real a real you know a real raw in a situation i'm in i'm immersed in that uh not really to you know brag about like i know this everything no it's not it's really because it's true it has transcended in my life so again there really is a no solution but number one it all boils down to helping ourselves helping yourself okay so please pass this on guys let this be a gift to someone who is not an in, who is not inspired or who have lost hope in life so again uh, let's try all to be positive thank you guys take care i appreciate your time uh, again, please do subscribe, like, and share. This is, has been Carmina of Finds TV Hobby Homeschool. Take care, guys. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye. Guys, uh, this is your um, bonus podcast um, clip. Uh, yes, if you are on the stage of really uh, hopeless, um, please uh, do not be afraid or embarrassed to call somebody right this moment or really um, call call your loved one um, knock on the door of your sister or brother or your uh, call anybody who is uh, right next to you or just a ring away or a neighbor uh, rescue yourself or call your doctor or a professional help if you need to uh, you matter and uh, getting uh, tra- and also if uh, if not on that stage you are just uh, totally just can't get up from bed can't take a shower can't even do a thing maybe uh, just really pray hard force yourself to get up there's nothing more I can suggest but aside from calling out there to for help but also um really pulling yourself up get up try just try to start right so go back try to go back just slowly a few minutes start from 60 seconds of getting up getting up from wherever you are moving from wherever you are Uh, just have the decision so this is uh, just you know trying to build a routine right so guys I, I just care take care okay do not help, help um, hurt yourself you matter just a reminder again take care guys bye this has been Carmina bonus podcast clip uh, it's important uh, maybe somehow just uh, you know trying to start this 
um, if you can, after you have gotten up from where you are, if you are into, you know, very really an emotional state, um, if it's a daytime, try to get up, be grateful, just pray to, he- to whoever you believe in. Um, um, I, really, I have uh, so much respect for uh, what your faith is, but just, you know, acknowledge yourself. Uh, and tell yourself, I can do it, you can do it. And then, uh, I try always this one. I really go straight to the bathroom, wash my face, feel the coolness of the water, and just uh, brush your teeth. And then, maybe try to take a shower um, or, you know, try to uh, start um, buffing yourself, like, you know, fixing yourself, dressing up. Um, Put a little cologne or perfume just to make you feel good. Change new clothes into new clothes. And yep, and if it's nighttime, just get up and then open the door, open the windows, or try to go out of your room where you are. Because it really is a matter of moving. So I hope, uh, just, I I, I hope I'm not into uh, saying too much, but this helped me. So just trying to start. Okay, thank you so much. Again, take care. Uh, Thanks for listening to this podcast.